This is a quick intro to how to do digital annotation. We want you to continue to reference the talk to the text that we use for when we have papers. A lot of the techniques will also apply for digital annotation. So first off, when you have a title, you're going to make some comments. So I'm gonna kind of just add it below. If I have a question, um, for example, what are trophic levels? I am going to put my question in pink. I could either do it by um, highlighting it or changing the text, either one is fine for that. Uh, I'm gonna do the annotation of the diagram later, but I wanna kind of go into, we know about highlighting or underlining vocabulary that's familiar or unfamiliar to us. For example, if it's unfamiliar to us, we're gonna underline it, but we can't, so here I'm gonna basically take this and I'm going to underline it and I'm gonna make it orange. Okay, so that's an unfamiliar word to me. If it's a word that I do know, for example, when I read, I might know food chain already. So then in that case, I would actually be highlighting the word in orange. And then when you come across a main concept, so for example, the organisms of a, of a chain are classified into their these levels um, on the basis of their feeding behavior. So, you know, that might be a main point. So then in that case, I'm going to make the text brown. So typically we would underline it in brown, but we don't really, I mean, you could go back in the underlining as well, but I think just making it brown is fine. Um, at the end of your passage or at the end of, and also don't forget, you should be numbering paragraphs. This one only had one paragraph. So I'm going to just make sure that I number the paragraph. Um, so typically with the digital annotations, we will often sometimes even pre-number it for you. Um, at the end of the passage or where you see it, so it might be at, a, at the end of a particular paragraph, it might be in the end of the passage itself, you're going to talk about a cross-cutting concept. So CCC, and once again, the cross-cutting concepts are in green. Um, once again, you want to be referring to your CCC page that's on page 195. Now, when you look at the cross-cutting concepts page, what you're doing is you're looking at your reading or whatever particular piece you're doing, and you're looking at the cross-cutting concepts, and you're going like, what evidence do I see for one of these? Now, cross cause and effect is often visible in our readings, in our claim evidence reasons, so we don't let you use that one because it's just too easy. We want you to dive a little bit deeper. So on this one, what I was noticing a lot of energy being transferred from one organism to the other. So I'm gonna be focusing on energy and matter as the cross-cutting concepts. So I can observe and track how energy and matter flows into and out of a system. And I can analyze the flow of energy and matter. So I'm gonna kind of relate that to my trophic level reading. When you are writing the cross-cutting concept, this is a good sentence starter to use. The reading passage relates to the cross-cutting concept of energy and matter because, and then you're going to explain what you saw. And then when it goes to annotating the title, the um, diagrams, you're going to do that below the diagram. So I, uh, in the diagram above, I notice, I wonder whatever you kind of observed there.